So the situation, as I understand it, is that Sam's mother was Beirut. I don't know exactly what this means. I have a feeling that what this means is that some point in time, back in the day, there was some policy where certain women were a part of the war bond process. It may have something to do with old lineages, including ones that are not necessarily domestic. But whatever the bond was that Sam's mother was working was Beirut. And she ended up getting her ankle broken as part of this strategic tax lien that they do via those bills the Democrats took out that had already broken my mother's ankle and broke the ankles of several teenage girls that were from good European stock right in front of me during 2017, right? This was part of their tax reform. And last summer, his mother got her ankle broken and then very shortly after that, she died. And what happened was the correlation of her death, which I understand was through foul play, was also connected to what was allowed to be leveraged in order to effectuate the terrorist attack in Beirut. It was a terrorist attack, by the way. And it was a terrorist attack that at least in part was laundered through allegations of crime associated with the Ukraine. My understanding is that somehow I'm Kiev. This is only something that has come to me since I've been kidnapped here. Now, I don't know if this is a pre-existing relation, i.e. somehow there was a war bond that somebody in my family had, up to and including potentially my maternal grandfather, and that I was selected to be connected to what would have been the payoff or what would have been the obligation fulfillment of a bond the United States or some city in the United States, potentially, if I'm not mistaken, even including Chicago, would have had with Kiev. But for whatever reason, it was very, very important to solidify it, right? I was supposed to go through this whole series, this, this series of situations where I was transgender and I was a lesbian and I was a Jewish l lesbian activist. But then I did this thing that I wasn't supposed to do where I fell in love with an Arab. And so they had to make an example out of me for the next 15 years, which is what's been happening. And in the course of that, I've been subjected to horrendous anti-Semitism that keeps trying to force me to convert to Christianity in a ritual of shame. A ritual of shame and excoriation specifically committed to understanding the problem is I'm Jewish. Or I'm not that kind of Jew. So the only option I have is to agree to kill the Jew and then to resurrect as a Christian. Now, if this is something they set up 100 years ago and that was actually what they bonded and the whole reason it hasn't been fulfilled is because I haven't converted the Ukrainian Jew bond or at least the Kievian Jew bond, tough shit. But this is, if this is an accurate report, this is, again, in that same pattern. It's in that same pattern of somehow making me, right, putting me in a position where I don't have any ethical, effective manner to actually fulfill those obligations. But instead, it is as if, and I'm going to say it, it is as if the bond itself was taken out by Nazis that intended to use it to follow through on exterminating Jews. And because I won't cooperate and be grateful for my chance at resurrection as a pureblood, but not even a pureblood, right? Because it's not about the same kind of racial purity it was back then. Now there's a different concept of diversity. And the eugenicist paradigm is about creating a composite based upon different people's genetics, which is different than it was at the time. But it's a cultural assimilation. It is an assenting to understanding that your genetics are diseased. So you have to let somebody else engineer you into being healthy. And you can't be healthy if you refuse to acknowledge that you have a genetic disorder. And in my case, my genetic disorder is I still have enough Jew. I'm still genetically enough Jewish. And because I haven't let it get converted, I'm still a sick Jew. And I'm never going to be able to get to be around other people until I'm cured of being a Jew. And any other thing I could do any other thing I have to offer. I have the capacity 
I could pass. I could vert. I could repudiate my Jewishness, and then I could pass as a good person in the new economy, including a good person in the new economy that understands that it's not just about white, that actually there's other kind of phenotypes that are desirable today. But the whole thing is that I have to acknowledge I have a genetic disorder. And I was supposed to allow for them to say it was that I was too neurotic, that I was too mentally ill, that I had a mental illness that was genetically induced, right? But once I got past that and refused to take the medication, well, now it's become much more honest. You have enough genetic Jewishness in you that we've already been able to ascertain that you're still diseased. Now, I'm not saying that everybody has the same thing. It just seems that this is my specific sister city connection, right? And that's why all of the communications I get are reinforced by this feminine. It's constantly in this state of agitation or this state of disappointment or this state of being very, very in need of demonstrating resiliency. And in the meantime, because I don't get acknowledged and because I've literally been kidnapped in some disgusting, racist, Slavic toad story, you just try to force me and compel me to accept that my job is to pay some retiree and if I don't pay him one way, then they're going to find another way to take it and use it. And in the meantime, I still haven't admitted I have a sickness, so they can't cure me. And if they don't have a way to cure me, then I don't have a way to pay for all the other obligations they set up on trying to cure me before. And I think that's really what it is. Just fucking admit it, you racist, anti-Semitic fucks. You determine at some point in time that I had enough genetic deviation that I could pass is Jewish if you didn't completely cleanse me of it. And I'm never ever going to cooperate. And you won't admit that that's what you did. And you keep trying to leverage this as if something's owed. You are owed being able to claim all of the inheritance and all of the legacy of who I would have been affiliated with, not just genetically, by the way. What you really want is the liquidation of all that political capital. And what I found out today through my efforts at trying to learn a foreign language is that you intended to take it back a hundred years, more than a hundred years. You want me to agree to allow you to convert me in the past. I'm never going to do that. And now it's been revealed, and it's that hideous. And if somebody else was in a situation and might have a more substantial blood percentage, and they agreed to convert, and they may or may not actually be in my bloodline, that has no fucking claim on me. See, I don't need to pay. Somebody owes me. Somebody owes me, and I'm not accepting any fucking converted Jews. I'm not accepting any Christian replacements. You were the ones that set this deal up on being so fucking Jewish. You're also the ones that refused to charge the President of the United States with hate crimes for colonizing a synagogue that was incredibly important, not only to the people of Chicago, but globally colonizing it and using it to finance acts of terrorism, including acts of terrorism that desecrated and destroyed holy sites, including Muslim holy sites around the fucking world in order to try to torture people into agreeing to be terrorists. And see, that's why you keep leaning on me to cover the default on his mother's bond. I'm not allowed to talk about anything but food so you could intentionally depreciate my currency so that whatever the bond was with Lebanon can be that significantly exacerbated. And then you want to say it's Palestinian? No, it's not. It's a bunch of fucking Nazis you let hide out this long. I don't know. Maybe they also have some relatives in the Ku Klux fucking Klan. 
Maybe they saw something in each other they thought that they liked, so they'd keep pimping their daughters for a hundred years until they could realize their master plan. But the thing is, you can't cover it. And this is what's going to be written into all your fucking insurance. Never again. Every goddamn fucking deal you tried to broker as winning World War fucking two just fucking defaulted today. Every goddamn fucking thing built on the Allied victory in World War II defaulted today. You didn't stop the fucking Nazis. You tried to undercut them and buy them on the discount market, thinking that you could mark it up later and do it better. And you didn't. I'm done with this. This is the most disgusting, contemptible thing. You had no right to keep playing this charade out till we got till today. I don't know what you expect. Apparently, you demand blood. And I don't like the way you've tried to summon it. You might end up getting exactly what you called down, just not on your terms. Why? Because you didn't pay for them yourself. <laughs>